Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with another edition of Conversation Corner. Well, today I'm going to go a little bit different as far as the video. And I wanted to ask something. I didn't want to, um, t- I'm not going to talk about personal development, um, which is something that I really specialize in and I really like discussing because I think uh, personal development, personal growth is what helps us get to that next level. Um, prosperity, all of your reaching all of your dreams, all of your goals, and it's just something that you need to learn. But in this particular case, I wanted to ask something. Now that we've become older, um, many of us are, you know, whatever age you are, you're older than you were. My question to you is, is what advice would you give yourself 15, 10, 15, 20 years ago? So once you were, when you were younger, much younger, what would you tell yourself, your younger self? For instance, I'm a teenage parent. I would have told myself, you know, do a better job <laughs> of not getting, you know, a young lady pregnant. It's not good being 17 years old, 18 years old and having a son. It's very difficult. Um, how about this? Um, you know, do better as far as your education. I, I'm a college dropout. Six classes remaining. It's been over 20 years since I've been, about 20 years since I've been to school. Actually, it's been longer than that. I haven't been since 1990. Okay. It's 20. So, that's what I... Yes, I'm sorry, I was having technical difficulties, but I wanted to get back to this question. What would you tell your younger self? You know, honestly, what would you tell your younger self? Like you heard me earlier or, you know, a few minutes ago talk about being a teenage parent, being a college dropout. You know, would you tell yourself to really get involved with your dreams, to really become more patient? Would you tell yourself to think more? Because I'm big on thinking. Remember, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart. That's how I usually end my uh, videos and a lot of the blogs that I do and the conversations that I have. But my concern or my comment to you or my question to you is, how do you think? You know, if you're over 25, 35, 45, 55 and up, I'm pretty sure you recognize that you've made some movements in your life that are very questionable or you wish you would have done it in a different way. Well, my question is to you again, talk to us. What would you tell yourself? What advice would you give yourself? So with that conversation corner, I look forward to hearing all of your comments and all of the advice because you just remember someone else could be looking at this, somebody younger, someone older, um, and they could use this and ingrain this. So everything I try to do is to be of help to someone else. So with that conversation corner, talk to you soon. Peace.